We feel very strongly that our own wisdom begins where that of the author leaves off. I spent all day reading Marcel Proust's Days of Reading and in it he has managed to evoke a very poetic and nuanced writing style much like his uh Swan's Way and uh, I'm forgetting Within a Budding Grove. So now Proust is not the kind if you've read Swan's Way you will know that Proust is not the kind of writer that will get straight to the point. He really tries your patience. He takes his time. He will take you on a very long though imaginative journey or a stroll I should say because there's a lot of walking in his fiction because he talks about the joys of reading during his childhood years because he takes his time and this completely depends on the mood that you're in you can either find it very frustrating in moments or beautiful Proust has a very unique rhythm to his writing I don't know how else to put it it's very it's very uh, calming it has a very contemplative nostalgic effect to it and then when he does arrive at specific certain revelations which he does trust me he does so keep on reading um which in this book for example has a lot to do with the act of reading solitude and just appreciating really good literature so when you arrive at these revelations of his it's you know it's all worth it you it's all those pages that you spend reading and sometimes even getting lost in it it's all worth it all about just the pleasures the trials and just the solitudes of reading now if you're feeling a bit uprooted as a reader his writing will definitely get you in very different kind of a mood to read the essays are so thought provoking they're so comforting and because he's sort of reliving his memories again which is a major theme in all of his works he makes you feel very nostalgic so that is something that really stands out even in his non fiction one of the things that uh, that's very interesting is how he writes about reading as being a form of friendship which is very different from the kind of friendships that we are familiar with in real life he also says that reading is a very sincere experience of friendship because when we are emotionally moved by a book we express it right away without feeling embarrassed or conscious of it now there are passages after passages after passages about just the simple calming act of reading itself of trying to find yourself through books and through reading he repeatedly mentions how to cultivate sensibility sensitivity even and intelligence and awareness just through the act of reading itself it's not an external pursuit it can be brought to the surface through inner solitude for proust i think the act of reading itself was a lot of thing were a lot of things but mainly it was also the act of forgetting what he was already familiar with because of his memories because of his experiences and just by being conscious because that is something that just keeps coming up a lot in his essays also the act of reading for him i believe is uh, can be just the act of piecing together a completely new and profound portrait of life and the self you will find that some of his sentences are a bit too poetic but despite that i still felt like reading every word almost compulsively because you know there's something just deeply moving and profound underneath it all like i said his writing has a rhythm so once you sort of tune yourself to it it's it just flows talking about just the act of reading and the different reasons as to why we read why he reads it was very interesting to see how reading affected him so his writing also evokes nostalgia especially like from much simpler times so yeah i guess this is all that i have to say i have underlined a lot of stuff honestly it's very difficult to read a section Uh, or a specific quote when it comes to Proust because his writing sort of compounds you tend to just pick out certain sentences but you will not understand it deeply or maybe in the way that it's meant to be understood until unless you read through the whole thing the supreme effort of the writer as of the artist only succeeds in raising partially for us the veil of ugliness and insignificance that leaves us incurious before the universe then does he say look so there's that one 
and then there's also the one that i read at the start of the video we feel very strongly that our own wisdom begins where that of the author leaves off he connects the spiritual life to the reading life he talks about solitude he talks about being able to have a conversation with a book as something that is different from having a conversation with a friend also another interesting thing that uh, really made me think is when when we stop reading like when we're done with a book and we put it down and keep it back on our shelf just that act itself is such a sad thing because we spend so much of our waking time reading a story being so invested emotionally and mentally invested in it and then you know the story just ends but you have to live on so just that parallel between the reading life and the real life of a reader is something that is so poetically explained described the act of reading itself when sort of deconstructed in this way can really reaffirm or sort of rekindle that faith that you have in yourself as a reader so yeah i think these are my updates these are my ramblings i should say uh, for this book i hope you like this reading update and uh, yeah thank you so much for watching